Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of differential equations. And in this question, we have been told that dy by dx is equal to x minus y upon x plus y. And we need to find the solution of this differential equation. So let's understand how to find the solution for this differential equation. So when I have this dy by dx in terms of x and y with me, what I can do here is I can take out x common from the numerator. So it will become actually one minus y by x. And again, from the denominator also, I can take out x common so that, that x cancels out. You have one plus y by x in that. So now you can cancel x here from both sides. And I can substitute or put y by x as some other variable, let's say v. So I'm putting basically y as v into x here. So if I do that, let's understand what we get dy by dx as. So dy by dx in this case, if I take the derivative of this, it becomes u into v. So product of two functions, it becomes v into derivative of x, that is 1 plus x into derivative of v with respect to x, so that is dv by dx. So instead of dy by dx, I can write this entire expression. So write, if I write this in this expression here, so instead of dy by dx, if I write it, it was y plus x dv by dx, that is equal to 1 minus y by x and 1 plus y by x, y by x is v, so 1 minus v upon 1. So we have this with us. Now what I can do here is I can keep x dv by dx here only because we need to separate the variables, right? So I take the other variables together, that is of v. So 1 minus v upon 1 plus v minus v. If I solve this further, it becomes 1 minus v minus again v and minus v into v is minus v square. The whole thing by 1 plus v. So it becomes 1 minus 2v minus v square. 1 plus v. This is all written with x dv by dx. So my next ex expression becomes x dv by dx is equal to. Now if I take minus common here, we get 1 minus v square plus 2v upon 1 plus v. Now what I can do here is I can make this expression in the bracket as a perfect square. So I have a square plus 2ab. So I need to add plus b square, right? So in this bracket, if I want to add, let's say 1, so it becomes v square plus 2v plus 1. Now it becomes a perfect square. So when I'm adding plus 1 here in the bracket is with a minus sign. So I basically, I'm adding minus 1 here to the numerator. If I'm adding minus 1, I should add plus 1 also. So 1 is already there. I am adding one more plus 1 because I am subtracting the 1 upon 1 plus v. And then my entire expression now changes to 1 plus 1 is 2 minus a square plus 2ab plus b square. That is a plus b the whole square upon 1 plus v. So we have this entire expression with x dv by d. Now, if I take all the terms of v on the left side, because dv is there in the numerator and take dx on the right, I get it as 1 plus v upon 2 minus 1 plus v the whole square dv is equal to dx by x. So now I have separated the variables. And when I separate the variables, I can integrate both the sides and find the solution for the differential equation that is given. So let's write that. So we have got already 1 plus v upon 2 minus 1 plus v the whole square dv and that is equal to dx plus x. Now what I can do is I can integrate both sides. So integrating both sides, basically taking integrals here, I get here as 
integral of 1 plus v upon 2 minus 1 plus v squared. So instead of this entire thing, what I can do here is I can take 2 minus 1 plus v squared this entire thing as let's say another variable t. So if I substitute this entire thing as another variable t, so put 2 minus 1 plus v the whole square is equal to t. If I put that, if I take the derivative of 2 is already 0, so 0 minus this becomes 2 into 1 plus v. And further, if I take the derivative of that, it is dv and that is equal to dt. Right? So I get this entire expression. I have only 1 plus v into dv with me, so I will keep 1 plus v into dv here, dv. And the other things, if I take it on the other side, becomes minus half dt. So now my entire expression becomes integral of minus half dt upon this entire thing I have taken it as t. So it becomes t is equal to integral of dx by x. So now I get this as minus half integral of dt by t. So that is nothing but integral of 1 by x dx that is log of x. So it becomes log of t to the base e is equal to log of x to the base e plus I can take log of constant c let's say c1 a constant of integration right so I can write this entire thing as log of t raised to minus half is equal to log of x into c1 to the base e. Both of them have log on both sides so I can directly keep this as t raised to minus half is equal to x c1 or I can also write this as 1 upon t raised to half, t raised to half is root t is equal to x into c. So you get this entire expression. Now let's resubstitute t because I don't need it in terms of t, I need it in terms of actually y. But first of all, let's write it in terms of t. In terms of t, I get it as 2 minus 1 plus y square, 1 plus v square. So root of 2 minus 1 plus v, the whole square is equal to x, c. Now what I can do is I can take out square on both sides so that the square root also goes. So squaring both sides, you get here 2 or 1 upon 2 minus 1 plus v square. So squaring both the sides removes the square root from the left side and it becomes x square and c1 square. C1 square will be another constant, let's say C2. So I can take that and first thing I can do is I can take this entire expression to the right. It becomes x square into 2 minus. This becomes 1 plus 2v plus v square. And this is equal to 1 upon C1 square. So 1 upon constant will be, let's say, any other constant C2. And this, if I solve it further, becomes x square. 2 minus 1 is 1, minus 2v, minus v square. And again, if I resubstitute, I don't need it in terms of v, I need it in terms of y, right? So if I resubstitute y, what we put as was, we substituted y as v into x, or we substituted v as y upon x. So let's resubstitute v as y upon x here. This gives you x square, 1 minus this becomes 2y by x minus y square by x square. That is equal to a constant c2. Now here, if I write this, it get, becomes actually x square into 1, that is x square, minus x square into 2y by x minus x square into y square by x square. That is equal to a constant c2. So this becomes actually x square minus this gets cancelled, you get 2xy, this gets cancelled, you get minus y square is equal to c2. Taking everything on the right hand side becomes y square plus 2xy minus x square is equal to minus c2. And minus c2 is nothing but a new constant, let's say a constant of integration, let's keep it as c. So my actual 
answer becomes y square plus 2xy minus x square is equal to a constant c. So this is my solution of differential equations is given to us. And if you match it with the options which are given to us, the correct option that matches here is D. So D is the correct answer for the question which is given to us. That said, to find the solution of the differential equation dy by dx equals to x minus y upon x plus y. So you substitute y first as v into x. We got it in terms of v and x. We separated the variables. Once we separated the variables like this, we integrated. Again, we substitute v in terms of t to make it easier to do the integration. And once we got that, we directly solved and found out the solution here by resubstituting two times in terms of y and x, we got the solution as y square plus 2xy minus x square is equal to c. So this is the solution of the differential equation which is given to us. And that is your option D. I hope you have understood how to solve these types of questions. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, share those videos with your friends who are also involved in preparation of IIT JW. Thank you.